What up, guys? Dog Noise, Puppy Cube here, and as you can tell on the title of the screen, and what's in front of you right now, it is we're playing Dream Daddy again. Well, okay, let's go. Last time, my knee got fucking shattered by fucking children with rocks. Ernest had pretty good aim. Now that I think about it, he had pretty good aim to break my. Okay, my knees weren't broken, but it hurt. Anyways, now we're gonna fucking whittle something. With the boy. Huh. The most important thing to remember <coughs> while whittling is to cut with the grain, not against it. If you cut against the grain, the <coughs> Oh god, my throat is not ready to read, read Robert's line. Fuck. Well, we're not bitches here, so we're gonna continue. <coughs> the wood is going to splinter. Isn't the most important thing safety? Hey. No. Getting hurt comes with the territory. Look at my damn hands. I look at his damn hands. They're calcized and co covered with little white scars. They're very nice hands. You can't make you can't make a stick omelet without breaking a few hand eggs. My bo Oh shit! It's a knife that. Oh wood. shit! With the grit. Okay. Um. Oh shit, Robert, I'm a disappointment. I'm sorry, man. Oh. That's a good start, isn't it? What is it? Hmm. A knitting needle. But only one. You made a useless knitting needle! This is fun. This is all I've ever dreamed of. Tell me about this one. Tongue the flat earth worm. Um. Hmm. Tongue depressor. I should put that in my first aid kit. Never know when you might need one. Yeah, we did it! <coughs> this is the best thing ever. What's the story here? Bubble popper. Something to make me look tougher? You know what, let's go with that one. It's working. I think you could take me in a fight, probably. Tough guy accessory. Fuck yeah! Oh man, this is great! I can we do this all day? Oh god. The two angry babies are in the same- I- What's this? A Ouija board. Wait. <laughs> Ouija board. Now all you need to do is call off a board and we're all set. And also maybe carve a ghost. Yay! This is fun! I refuse to do anything else! <laughs> this is now my channel, everybody! Carving wood. What is this? Let's see. It's you. You really captured my likeness, so I'm impressed. Robert, I guess. <laughs> Babies, are you not gonna fight? Why are you guys having a stare off? This is making me very uneasy. I'm trying to whittle wood here. I have a knife. I feel like. Am I? <laughs> Interesting. What do we have here? Chopstick ambidextrous. It's a stick. <laughs> I'm having too much fu- Oh shit! The stick's bigger now, guys! Oh god, my dog's looking at my foot! Not now, baby! Ambie's busy! God damn! I am so fucking interested in this! Oh shit. 
If you keep this up, you'll be a whittling pro in no time. <gasps> a new friend. New friend. He's beautiful. I'm happy for you. New friend. This is all that I care about now. This is the game. This is come by like three times a week just to watch me whittle things. This is my life. <gasps> it's a pony! Beautiful handwork, what do you call it? A big old dog. This... Sir Hersey to the brave! Oh, that's sassy. <laughs> I'm not sassy, that's, that's adorable. Aw. Big old dog. No. Let's go with something fucking. Will you two stop comparing dick sizes with each other? I will throw you out, Ellie. Thank you, that doesn't make me any less annoyed with you and Annie always having a standoff. She gave me a bunch of kisses. Uh, Spirit of the Mustang. How poetic. Yeah! Kinda wish I named a big old dog. Oh shit! Always check the card readers at ATM before you swipe. If you're parking uphill, be sure to turn your tires towards the street. Hey. Robert and I sit signs for a while, carving our piece of wood. I think we're gonna hang of this. It's actually kind of relaxing. I glance over to see what Robert was working on. He's carving a smaller wooden knife. Ah! Well, I'm distracted. The knife slices into my thumb, blushes, guts. I mean, blood gushes all over my little wood carving. <laughs> um, Robert's lost in carving. Doesn't notice me bleeding everywhere. Ah, uh, Robert still doesn't notice. Robert, I'm dying. I'm bleeding to death. Robert finally looks over. Oh. He reaches into his jacket again. Jesus, how much stuff does this guy keep in there? And he pulls out a bandana and wipes it around my thumb. I want to keep as many things in my jacket as fucking Robert does. Hold tight. He hops off the truck and I can hear him rummaging in his car. He comes back a moment later with a well-stocked first aid kit. Robert carefully wipes all the blood off of my hands and just wipes a bit at- Ellie, down! Ellie, baby! <sighs> Hold on. Ellie, I know you love me, but you're distracting me way too much from the Let's Play, my man. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you so much, Eve. But you're being you're distracting. I love you. Please. I can not there. No. Now I'm sad. I had to kick Ellie out because she distracted me. Ah. Uh, Robert carefully wipes all all the blood off of my hands and swipes a bit of antiseptic onto the cut. It's surprising. With surprising gentleness, he places a bit of gauze on the wound and wraps it all up. Uh -huh. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. He hands me what's left of the tube of antiseptic. Oh. Make sure to keep that cut clean. It's oddly touching and... And a little sexy. Oh, shit! I guess I'm a real whittler now, if I can fucking speak. <laughs> that you are. Be careful, though. They're attracted to the smell of blood. Wait, what? What's attracted to the smell of blood? Uh. Cryptids. Tums of them out here, you know. Cryptids? Like Mothman stuff? Mm. Mothman's bullshit, but yeah. First of all, Mothman is my friend! Fuck you! <laughs> Second of all, but yeah, this town's a hotbed of- <coughs> Fuck my throat. For cryptozoological occurrences. You're joking. Mm. Oh, how I wish I were. I'm a skeptic myself, or at least I thought I was. There are things in these woods that we possibly can't- we can't possibly comprehend. I think about my entire time in the city, aside from the occasional coyote, I don't think it's too bad. You ever heard of a the Dover ghost? Fuck, I have, I just don't- I just don't remember. I've I know I've heard of this, because of 
because of Amanda. Amanda, if you don't know, was one the person that I kept calling um, during the last few episodes when I recorded in the winter time. No, it was in the summertime. Stupid. Um, but uh, she she's really big into cryptids, and so by default, I am forced to uh, learn about cryptids. I I've heard of the Dover Ghost though. I just cannot remember what it was. I don't think so. Hey. Well, let me tell you a story. Shit's about to get spooky. Hey. I was out in the woods here on a weekend camping trip with Bet. You know, you don't know Betsy, but she's a big pup, pit bull, real intimidating. I feel, I feel safe around her. First night goes without incidents. I give me some solitude. Betsy gets to pee wherever she wants. All mm-hmm. uh. second day, I get the idea into my head that I can hike deeper into the woods. Probably against my better judgment, but hey. We're just having a fun camping trip, right? So me and Betsy start marching in the morning. Whoa, whoa. It gets a little late, and we set up camp, but it's different this night. Real quiet. I can't hear the birds, the crickets, squirrels, nothing. Dead silent. Uh-huh. Then it happens. I hear the most unholy growl I've ever heard in my life. Right outside of my tent. Me and Betsy, we go to investigate. We look around the clearing. Nobody's there. Uh-huh. But there's this feeling. Not sure if I can quite describe it. I know someone, something, is watching us. Betsy, though, she's scared. Oh, fuck me. I, fuck. Ugh, a man, but if something didn't know what a man was supposed to look like made it, it just looked wrong. Big, big arms too long for its body. Black eyes, it just stood there st- and stared at me. Then it disappears. I hear one yelp from Bessie, and I turn her around to check on her, but she's gone into thin air. I didn't sleep at all in my tent that night. I don't think I've ever slept right since. Fuck. I I can't tell if he's lying. And I don't. Robert, I can't- I hate that I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not, but goddamn is it relatable that I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. Because apparently people can't tell if I'm fucking with them or not. God- God damn it. Oh, sh- Oh, fuck- God damn it, I fucking forgot to mute my fucking phone. I'm sorry, Lord, I'll have to read what you sent me later. Um... Robert, I'm gonna trust you, okay, my man? I'm, I'm gonna- I'm gonna trust you. Wow. Robert. Hey. I'm so sorry. Mm. They say if you listen closely on quiet nights, nights just- You're fucking with me. You're fucking with me! I trusted you! I shouldn't have trusted you. Nights just like tonight, you can hear the howl of the Dover ghost. A howl resonates in the woods. It does sound like a regular howl. So, even from far away, something about it makes my skin crawl. Huh? Okay, Robert, real funny. Oh, is he not? Wait, no, wait. I turned my head to look at Robert. He's as white as a sheet. You're messing with me, right? Uh-huh. I was messing with you up until literally just now. <laughs> I totally made that camp story up. I just strained my eyes to scan the forest line, trying to see where the howl originated from. Up in the distance, I see something. It's so far away. I barely can make out a shape. It looks human, but it's dragging something. Um, do you see that? Mm-hmm. We should go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's on the door, on the lake. Robert and I slowly back away and get into the truck. He turns off his headlights and and we make we make a slow crawl away back onto the road. I'm too scared to look back. What? Was that? Huh? The Dover Ghost, I guess. I chuckle nervously. This time he does seem like he's messing with me. Or maybe someone illegally dumping garbage on a wildlife preserve? Oh. Yeah. That's a story we'll tell ourselves. Huh? We sit in silence for a little while longer. The fear of whatever that was slowly subsiding as we got clo- get close to the city. Hey. Thanks for coming out. This was fun. I don't know. I'm sorry, I... I haven't been in t- I've just been in a way lately. I had to get out of the house. 
It's okay, man. I understand how you feel. That's literally me now. I don't know. Had to be around somebody. You doing okay, man? Mm -hmm. Robert thinks for a second and lights another cigarette. <laughs> hey. Been doing a lot of thinking. He takes a long drag. Mm. As I get older, I feel more and more that I'm just drowning in this sea of regret. I was so busy chasing after these things that I thought would make me happy, but that I didn't think about anyone else. All I cared about was myself, and I didn't even think. I... Robert stops, and I wait for him to finish his thought. He just stares at the road. Maybe I'm just built like this. Mm. Or maybe I do to myself. Maybe it's my own choice that I'm as unhappy as I am. I try to think of something to say. I remember all the times in my life where I've been, when I've been sad, like literally a few, like yesterday, and there was a great many of them, but there was, was always a light at the end of the tunnel, something I held onto that kept me going, hey. but there's something so resigned about the Roberts talking. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be a l gonna be a little bit cheap here. Don't get mad, but I'm glad you told me. It must have taken a lot out of you to tell for you to tell someone somebody this. Hmm. You're a mysterious guy, Robert. You don't have to be. Do you ever Hmm. Wish you were be you were a better father. I think about it for a second. The mailman's here. Oh no. Oh god, this isn't good. The mailman's here. Maybe if if maybe if everything's just hush hush. The do I just want to play my game. God, god damn it! I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I think about it for a second. All the time, you can read all the pairing books you want, but nothing will ever prepare you for raising a child. There's so much stuff I regret or wish that I could have done better, but I don't have the answers. I don't know if anyone does. Oh. It's funny. I look at you and your relationship with your daughter and it seems perfect. It, it isn't. Hmm. At least you are there for her. I stare out the window at the blur of passing trees. I just hope I'm a better father to my kid than my dad was to me. Uh -huh. What did your dad do? It's more about what he didn't do. He was quiet, stoic. I didn't think he ever once told me that he loved me. He cared more about his work than he ever did about me or my mom. Hmm. Do you hate him? No, I used to, but... After I became a parent, I just kind of feel bad for him. He missed out on all my whole childhood. When I think about all that, ha that of the happiest moments in my life, they're all with Amanda and Alex, and he just wasn't there. It hurts like hell when I had to leave him to die in the <laughs> in that Bell Russian prison. Really? What? I turn, a, turn and smile at him. No, he retired in Florida with my mom. We go there every Christmas. We both break out into laughter. Yeah, and he pats me on the shoulder. We drive the rest of the way in silence, listening to the radio and watching the bright lights of the city grow bigger. Robert drops me off in my place. As I'm up to close your door, I realize that I'm, I still have Robert's pocket knife in my jacket. I pull it out and offer it back to him. Uh. You hold on to that. Never know when you might need it. <coughs> my throat. <coughs> Night, Robert. Have a safe drive home. Robert smirks and then pulls away. He then immediately pulls into his driveway, which is one over from mine. He gets out and waves. <laughs> I tiptoe into the house, careful not to wake Amanda up. Whoa, where'd you come from? Hmm. I look around and spot Amanda coming out of the kitchen with a glass of water. Hmm? I thought you were sleeping. Oh, um, Robert woke me up to go cryptic hunting. You know that, you know the Mothman is bullshit, right? Stop! Why?
Why are you talking so bad about Mothman? He's my friend. Come on. I hear whining. Hold on. <coughs> the whining might have been throat from my own throat. Amanda. Amanda, Link. You know what? It's fine. Huh. I think about all the conversation I had with Robert in the car as Amanda starts walking towards her room. Hey, Amanda. Oh. She stops. I love you. Hmm. It's weird when you say that outright and sincerely like that, but I love you too. <laughs> Night. I chuckle to myself, then finally decide to go to bed. What you do when you don't have to do will deter- well- I'm so scared. Yes! If it bleeds, we can kill it. Oh my god. <laughs> if it ble <laughs> Can I just say, that is my fucking method of whenever I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a little... A little... Little... I, I was about to say hint about my personal life. It's not even about my personal life. It's oh, my dog's whining. Why are you whining, baby? You can't whine. No. Okay. Give me water bowl. Refill it. I'll give you the last bit of my water. I'm gonna die because you're thirsty. There you go. I can't play any. I'm sorry. I'll play later. Um. Fuck. But the thing is, if I'm typically if I'm scared of something, like have a legit phobia about it, it's be probably because I can't fight it. So whatever. Whatever. Okay to cry if you feel s you're feeling sad. Thanks, Dad. Tip sixty nine. Do it once. Do it right. God, I wish I could. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. The kid needs some sleep. As I pass her, <gasps> oh no! Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. She's crying, her, the crying immediately stops. All right, now! Her voice sounds so strange. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. <laughs> I hate seeing you cry, my baby! Oh, everything okay? I don't want to talk about it! I, I'm i gonna pick the same thing I picked last time, which is kind of, I guess. I could. I, I'm trying to decide whether or not I should actually pick the same ant juice as I did last time. Yeah, I'll pick the same answers as I did last time. <laughs> did something happen? No, nothing happened! Go away! You know what? Never mind, I'll... I'm gonna leave her alone. Alright, I'll just leave you be. I back out of the room and close the door gently behind me. She immediately starts crying again. My heart! My baby! Oh, wait, this is new. I can't stop mentally cycling through all sorts of awful things she could be dealing with right now. More than anything, I just wanted to be happy and safe. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I still think about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I rolled out of bed and make a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she will be willing to talk about what's ever bothering her about ten minutes before she's supposed to leave. Amanda comes... Good morning, Amanda. Morning. She does. Sense they won't look at you. Uh. Okay, um. Ah! That was fucking loud! Fuck! It does hurt! I don't like to see my fucking. 
like my baby's mad. My baby's sad. I know why, but it's still I still don't like it. Ah! <laughs> you just get here for a second. There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I want to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... So, just... Is you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Ah. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I'm hoping I could speak in language we both understand. I just... I... <coughs> I don't... I don't feel like... I, it just doesn't feel right if I just skip over all this. It's my baby! It's my precious, beautiful daughter. It's my baby girl! Okay, um... You know what? The best friend... Yeah, you got it! Wow, proud of you! Yeah. Anyways, ever since that was kind of cheating, but whatever. Um, I've been feeling like she's shifting away, you know? And Ah, uh, yes. Oh. That's the thing. Oh, I had no idea. You're a bad liar. So are you. Well, I learned from the worst. Oh. So, this person I... Oh. My baby. I don't like seeing her sad. Ugh. <sighs> this is the, uh... I can't- I honestly don't remember which one I said, but fucking, uh, the gossip you- <laughs> Let's just say the gossip one? Huh. I know! Huh. Grace is the one that nobody really likes. I- or I guess that's me now. <coughs> My throat's killing me. My baby! So, I left without nachos, I might add. My baby. And I wrote another one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I can't. Hmm? Can you believe that? Oh, fuck, I can't remember if I, what I said about this, fuck. This is a very serious moment, okay? <laughs> I, I guess it's an, ep uh, an episode, so... Dating Robert per episode. I cannot believe that I care so much about a man's social life. Well, uh, the dating secret for like months, so I told her. I'm like, well, wait, left to right. Wait, what's that? It's like, I don't know what it is. It's, yep, gotcha. And so I'm there. Mm. Then we just. I love you, my baby. But I gotta run a show. I've been quiet. I'm sorry, I love you, my beauty! Oh. It's not dumb. <sighs> Fuck, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> I remember I got to a really deep conversation- talk about this. About how not- All friendships last forever. Real friends don't do that. And school sucks. I have- I don't remember what I said, but I remember like, all of these are kind of true, though. I think- I think I said not all last forever. I think that's what I said. People come and go. Yep. You've got some good times with MR, but you guys grew apart. Learn from it. Keep- Oh, shit! I did not! I picked something else. There are so many new friends to make, and they're gonna be so much cooler than Emma Arrest. Ultimately, I think this is, says way more about her character than about yours, because you're amazing. If they can't see it, well, that's their problem. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat the whole cake? <laughs> yes. We, we did just cake. Well, good talk! 
Amanda gets up and goes to her room. Before she closes the door, she turns around. Hey, Pops? Yeah? Thank hey. you. You're always welcome. Love you, Amanda. I love you too, Dad. Fuck! I'm still not prepared for that shit! Alright. Welcome. You've <laughs> got dads. Okay, I burped. But, okay, we've been recording for about 30 minutes now. So, I'm just, we're gonna end it here. Next episode, we'll have our final date with Robert. Look at that. Two hearts. And two S rankings. Get on my fucking level. Okay. See you guys next time. Next Dream Daddy Dating Time. Or if you watch the video that uploads on my channel that's not Dream Daddy. See you guys later. Bye.